Hey, what's up guys? It's Tasty Jug. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build the Discord from Zombies in Spaceland. You've probably gotten it. It is very hard to get, but I'm going to show you guys how to build it in real life. So, the supplies you're going to need, you're going to need some jumbo paper clips, um, a cork, line cork, four tack, thumbtacks, and a, so, like kind of like a round thing, but... I just got this from like Ramune Soda, but anything round like this, and you're going to need three pen lids, some old white tape, and you're going to need cardboard, you're going to need a plastic bag, and some paints obviously, but we'll get into that later, so. First thing you're going to need to do, is you're going to need to cut this out like this. So as you can see, these are the, um... It's the cutout. So you want to make sure that you cut this out because I know it looks like you may just want to cut around that, but you're going to need to cut this four times. It is this is how tall it is. It is 4.5 inches tall and 8.5 inches long, eight and eight inches long. And so you just got to do that. You want to do this for cut this out four times. So you have four of these because we're going to put them all together, and then. You're going to need to cut one circle out of cardboard, poster board, whatever you want. Cardboard's a little cheaper. So if you want to do this cheap, then that's what you need to do. This tape, you're going to need this a little later, so just keep that there. And, yeah. Guys, this is how one of them cut out looks. Pretty simple. Fits in your hand right. Just like that. <laughs> it's kind of like Star Trek pistol. But you're going to need to do this four times, but except do not do the rail guards. Just... T totally take this out because we're going to need one rail guard so the rail guard seems seems small you know so this is bigger than the rail guard because it's really not that important but if you do you don't have to but that's what I'm going to do so just remember the um, cork and stuff is all for that barrel so it is going to be longer this is not what the finished product is so just keep it up with this and don't do the rail guards and yep yeah. so guys I did finish that I got all my cutouts I made sure I didn't put the railings on all the other ones. I got four of them. So now on the glasses. Wait, what? Dylan, how'd you do that? That's not like plastic bag. Yeah, because which I did. I forgot to include this in the supplies, but just a disc player, clear disc player. Probably have this. Just use scissors to cut it out. Comes out really easily. See, I got those. You know the little covers. And yeah, so all you gotta do, you gotta cut that out with scissors, and make sure that you do not glue these on yet because you do not want to paint these because then these look all cruddy so yeah remember that so guys i just finished out this i've glued these all together make sure you have that one kind of in the middle then i've used this now what what you need the pencil lids for is you need to put them by the little clip thing on the front of it you need to tape, you need to glue that there. I'm using these thumbtacks as stands. That is not what the thumbtacks are for. That's what you're thinking. You can use them as stands. They were pretty good. But now we're going to let this dry for a bit and see you then. Now, while we're letting that dry, why not work on what else we need to do? So, as y'all wondering, the cork right there. Stick it in there. Pretty simple. Whichever way you want, whichever way it'll stick in. Like that. And then... You need to put a circle. So, as you all know, I had that cardboard circle. Just get that circle done, and what you're going to do is you're going to get one of these saucy thumbtacks. And just yeah, stick it in the cork. Just like that. Then what we are going to do is we are going to cut a hole in the middle of the circle right here that you need. I'll go get it in a bit. Oh, here we are. We're going to cut a circle out, put a hole in the middle, so we can attach it right there. And that's going to be the barrel. And I'll show you what these, we need these for a bit. It's going to be a long time so I use this, because, as you all know, this gun has, like, some duct tape on the front of it, just to make it look all junky, like it is. But this is going to be hard to paint. I'm just telling you guys right now. The colors, I guess I'll tell you. So you're going to need silver and or white, whichever one I use, silver, makes it look cooler for spray paint. 
in normal paint, you're going to need just yellow, red, and blue. Those colors. So, yeah. That's all you're going to need to do. Let's go ahead and do the, get this done. And, okay. Okay, so now, guys, I've finished that up. Now I have the barrel right there. Just like that. Pretty simple. I just cut a hole in the middle of that circle. And now we have it like that. So this is going to be the barrel at the end of the gun. Once that is dry. And it's going to be a little weird to attach. You're going to need to use another thumbtack. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty simple. And there's the barrel. So now the next step has been done. All you got to do is like get a knife and just twist it into the bottom. I'm going to stick that into the cardboard. And it's going to fit in there just right. Nice barrel. And I'll see you when the gun's dry. Okay, guys. So now that it is dry, you're going to need to put one of your thumbtacks right there in not in between but like hanging off of those now this is where the jumbo paper clips come in go ahead open your paper clips they have to be jumbo so take one unravel it just like that boom should be in a string now this part is pretty hard so what you're going to need to do is you need to wrap the blue the blue and down to that because it's kind of like the cable wires that are on the gun. So it's really hard to do on camera. So I'm going to skip through that. I will do it off camera. And I'll show you. When that step is done, it should look like this. See they're done and there is a wire pointing to the white one. You don't want to wrap around it. But have one pointing to it to give it that effect. So it looks like that. Those are the battery looking things. They will not be blue when we paint this. And the next step. What you're going to need to do is take your other thumbtacks and put them inside. So after we've done that, this is where the plastic bag comes in. Put, cut part of it, put it right there. Get some paint and put thumbtacks or use some tacks. Put the plastic bag over it and use some green paint to paint over where they are. It should look like that. Guys, once you've glued on your plastic and you've glued on your little plastic shells on both sides, you're going to take your nostril, put it on, then use your old tape. Because here's what the tape is. Now, as you all know, the Discord is an old and like 80s, and it's made out of like crap. It's made out of the trash, stuff in the trash can. So if you look at the picture of the gun, it does actually have some white tape. Now you have that, and make sure when you spray paint it that you, you're going to be spray painting right there, and you're not going to spray paint here. We are going to tape that up, so let's tape this up. Right now we are going to use our old scrappy tape or any tape you want to tape that up, whatever you want for that, but yeah, let's tape that up. Okay guys, now we have taped up both sides of the glass, so when we paint we do not get that on anything. Just one thing, when we are painting you want to make sure that you spray right here. And then spray over here. You just don't want to hit that. You can hit it a little, but you just want to keep a little bit of it shown. So it gives you that old 80s feel. And, yeah, guys. So, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to let it dry overnight. So we don't have any faults when I paint it. So tomorrow I'm going to paint it. See you then. Okay, so guys, what you're going to need, the colors, is you're going to need silver spray paint and a gold or copper, whichever you choose. So right here we got this gold color. What you're going to do first is you see that tape right there? Now this is basically like the wire, the cable. So you're going to paint that. Just around like that. Now do not worry about covering it with tape. Just get your silver right out. Because you don't need to cover it because it's all fine. So get your silver out. And make sure you have tape over the plastic part. Because you don't want to get that all jacked up. So guys, now that you're done, it should look like this. You should have your tape right there covering the plastic part. You should have that because, you know, this gun does have cables at the front. So we are going to get to do later, like the rainbow streak and the green lines. So I'll see you guys when you do that after this is dry. Hey guys, so now for the details. You're going to need green, blue, yellow, and pink or red, whichever you pick. Now this is for the rainbow on the side. 
and for the three green lines. So let's paint. So now that you've done that, it should look like this. Really awesome, guys. It has the rainbow right there, that old 80s feel. Now just let it dry and you'd have a disc board. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you made your own, make sure to leave your picture in the comment. Or not picture. Just, just make sure to leave if you liked yours or not. And if you want me to do any more of these How to Make Some and Raven the Redwoods comes out, just comment down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. And see you next time. And guys, here for the final bonus step, if you want, take this tape and wrap it right there, just like this. Okay, so you take this tape, take some out, get your Discord, and watch this, my friends. Sideways, over like that. You don't have to do this, but this is how it looks. So if you really want to make it look exactly like the Discord, I recommend it. But now look at that, guys. Looks like that. Duct tape together, just like the real Discord. Then cut it, and yeah.